But yeah, there is a second individual in the vehicle here, so there's five total. Hello, how are you, sir? Good, good. That's nice. He gets say hello. He's being polite. with California Citizens Watch, as you can see over there, CCW. Just watching this, uh, make sure they treat them right. As you can see, he is in handcuffs. We are outside of a 24-hour fitness uh, studio. I did hear the subject who's on the ground saying so I was in the gym. Yeah, I, I doubt that, but hey, you never know. Quite windy out here. We're you know we're in um, Pacific Beach here, PB. Um, kind of windy, ocean breeze, and also uh, the vehicle traffic is kind of. Oh, and also this this vehicle's running. It's running, so it's kind of drowning out what he's saying. Sorry? Who you guys with? Ourselves. We're independent journalists. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, nice to have you guys here. Well, thank you. Likewise. I moved a little bit closer ahead past this open uh, P1 door, which is now behind me. I was kind of standing behind them, but I thought it would be less uncomfortable if I kind of popped around their passenger door and stood in front. Sure enough, he asked me, who are you with? So, he seems friendly. He said, nice to have you here. So that's cool. He's the one who first said hello to me when I first walked up, so he seems fairly pleasant. We're in front of 
919 Garnet, Pacific Beach, San Diego, California. It is Wednesday, October 1st. I'm sorry, excuse me. Wednesday, October 2nd, 2019. His name is Jonathan, the female cop just said, I knew I liked you, Jonathan. So it sounds like they've had dealings with him before, which is not uncommon in beach communities. They have their usuals, their usual, you know, um, you know, homeless people that they deal with on the regular. I know, man. 100% science for the gym. Only on adrenaline, though. Around me. Cool. My wife cried. But, when Brian did a little trying to take it out. But, as Brian got no problem, that I got my camera. This car, what I did. Dad, mom. So we now have these two officers, the one male, one female, engaging with the subject who is in handcuffs on the ground, and then the three behind me. I'm standing next to the P1. You can feel the heat from the motor, like right next to it. So I don't know. They're running. They're, I'm assuming they're running him for you know, wants and warrants or whatever. He's clearly a 5150 by his nonsensical rants, obviously, which is very sad. It's always a sad thing to witness, to see. And this is happening all around the country. Big, big problem here in Southern California. Yeah, I've got 20 more fucking guys that knocked. I never Wow. She just said, Jonathan, are you on parole? He said, no, dear. I've never, I think he said, I've Yeah, he just said, I've never been. That's all It's hard to understand what he's saying. He has somewhat of a speech impediment. Yeah. All right, they're gonna help him stand up. They're gonna have to. She just said, "Do you have anything on you?" Okay, they're gonna help him get up now. Stand up. 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 Stand <clears throat> All right. Now, I know, right? <laughs> CCW. <sighs> Had she not said anything to me, I obviously would have moved out of the way the next one or two seconds. But of course, right away, man. Like, yeah, you think? No, I was just gonna stand there. Duh. <laughs> but you know, that's okay. I let her. I let her throw her directives at me, make her feel big and bad. What's that? Why do we have two? Why do we have two male officers here and females in search? That's so strange, huh? Check this out, guys. Good point. Cici Dub just said there are three female officers. All three of them are searching the male, and the two male officers are just standing by. Now we do know. We do know, though, Chris. Cici Dub. We do know that it's it's allowed, but the other way is not. Right. So female, uh, just for those who don't know, female officers are allowed to search male officers, but generally, if there are male officers present, they would prefer that a male officer search the male subject. However, when there's a female detainee or arrestee, 
they typically, unless it's an absolute emergency and there's no female officer available, they will allow a male to search. However, go ahead. Um, if they um, if they have a female detainee, then the male will not search unless it's an absolute last resort. If they have a female officer available, they obviously or sometimes oftentimes they'll actually wait for a female to show up. If there's one in the area available, they'll actually wait just so she can search the female as opposed to having the male search the females. But again, depends, but in general. But this is quite unusual. Five officers, three females, two males, and the three females are the ones searching the male. They're sure um, kind of really groping on him. Oh boy. That's interesting. And they are observing. Now, it should be noted that of the five officers, not one of them have stripes. They're all officers. Not one have stripes. This one right here on the far right, the one who gave me the directive to move out of the way, she's she looks to be kind of a one of those ball buster types, the toughy types. You know, the kind that the kind that we fear the most as female uh, in female officers. Um, <laughs> The ones that tend to be more tyrannical because they have more to prove. Um, you know, we all kind of know in general, not always, but in general, uh, female officers tend to be the, tend to be really bad tyrants. Um, just 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 by virtue of being female. Um, so so um, I don't know. Again, it boils down to I think that they have more to prove. But she's really going to town on this guy. Sheesh. Boy. Yes, we have the rabbit ears going, i.e. the pockets being turned inside out. We call those rabbit ears for those who don't know. They're really just feeling them up, man, I'm telling you. Whoa. Well, yeah, she's all, you got another pair under here? Well, the guy's homeless. It gets cold at night. It's, it's fall now, guys. It gets chilly. It gets into the four, uh, low to mid to high 50s at night. If you're living on the streets and you're sleeping outside, you darn well better lay her up. Look at it, now he's kind of resisting a little bit. She's pulling on him, the female on the left. He's not resisting, resisting, I don't think, but he's just kind of being a little, you know, not overly cooperative, shall we say. Um, but he's clearly either intoxicated, uh, under the influence of some sort of... Um, narcotics or you know some kind of drugs or uh, pot well I'm assuming as well it seems to be from what he was rambling about uh, 5150 maybe all three in combination we don't know but at minimum 5150 just based on prior experience and extensive experience dealing with individuals but yeah there's uh pretty resistant at this point. Yeah, he doesn't want to get in the car. Oh, he's fighting. Yeah, not fighting, fighting, but he's resisting. He's getting, he's, he's not wanting to duck his head in there. And then, of course, they had to do the classic, put their hand on top of his head and put him in there. Okay, now he's inside, but he's laying down now. Oh, no, he just leaned back for a minute. Now he's, okay, they got the door closed. Okay. And she's gathering his belongings there. Yeah. Now she's doing the inventory on the hood his personal effects. She's bringing the evidence bags out.
say, like and subscribe to Buys Joe Poopsie. Don't forget to promote Buys Joe Poopsie while we're here banging in our hood. Buys Joe Poopsie. Yes, guys, uh, while we're here down in Pacific Beach here in San Diego, we have a local um, activist who is amazing. She's awesome. She is a true activist. Um, her channel name is Beisner Poopsie. B E I S N E R, Beisner. And then Poopsie, P O O P S Y. Beisner Poopsie. She's awesome. She's an activist. Um, she, she she's a he, she was running for mayor. I think she did she pull out of the race. She yeah, she pulled out. Um, she really she really wants to affect change. She's a huge huge homeless activist down here at the beaches of San Diego, Ocean Beach, Pacific Beach. Um, so so um, yeah, you guys go go subscribe to Beisner Poopsie. She's great. Very peculiar channel name, but she is awesome. She's smart as a whip. She and uh, she and she takes no crap from anybody, and they all know her. They all know her. What's her name? Betty. What's her name? Like uh, Betty, yeah, Sue? Betty Sue. Betty Sue. I do believe is her actual first name, or that's maybe first and middle. But Betty Sue, I do believe is her. But uh, yeah, Bisner Poopsie. She's awesome, guys. She's worth. She's worth the subscribership and um, check her out, especially if you care about the homelessness issue going on. And she's a great, great fighter for them. Um, so. We're going code four. The subject is right back there, the back of the vehicle. He's checking things out, watching what's going on here. Yeah. So, did we hear this call before we went into this? No, we, we happened. Just yeah, no, we were actually heading to the to, beach. To the beach. Well, we heard the 24 hour fitness call. Right. We, did, we, we didn't put two and two together. We were driving to the beach and we just saw all these units. We're like, whoa, what's this? Oh, okay, so guy. there goes one guy. The SUV's leaving. All we have left are the two P1s, and that's it. They're going to go code, code 4. They're going to transport the subject. I think at this point it's safe to say we can uh, end, the, end this uh, cop watch for all intents and purposes. Yeah. Yep, code they're, they're code 4. All right, Katil, the Hun Freedom Fighter, out here with California guys, Citizens Watch. Are you guys, are you guys, Thank you. Just started with yourself or? Yeah, we're just independent. Okay, I haven't seen you guys around before. No, well, you we should know him. Why is your poopsie, Betty Sue? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, I know I'm Betty very well. With uh, with our cop watch out of Mid City, okay. also. Okay. Yeah, yeah I know you guys in Mid City. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm the one. I'm the dude, Linda Vista. Oh, cool. So All right. we, we want to give a shout out to Officer D. Ellen. He's been really cool since we first walked up, and he's just curious what we're doing. So. Thanks, guys. Um, all right, guys. Thank Be you. Safe Be safe, safe, you guys. Appreciate it. Take yeah. care. All right, guys. Katila the Hunt Freedom Fighter and California Citizens Watch CC Dub. We are out of here.